This skill will begin with the opening. Knock and identify your patient. Place your documentation sheet on the bedside table. Introduce yourself by name and title. Describe what you will be doing. Obtain permission. Close the curtain. And wash your hands. When you return, gather your stethoscope and blood pressure cuff from its storage area. Ensure that the blood pressure cuff has been completely deflated. You will be using the testing center's equipment, which includes a double-sided stethoscope so the evaluator can listen as you perform blood pressure. Pick up an alcohol pad and explain to the patient what you will be doing. Open the alcohol pad and clean each earpiece, yours and the evaluator's, and the large diaphragm on your stethoscope. Throw the alcohol pad away. Ask the patient which arm he would prefer for blood pressure. Ask him to extend his arm, palm up, and make sure it is supported by the mattress. Measure the cuff by laying the narrow end of the blood pressure cuff over the arm and making sure it covers one-third to one-half of the circumference of the arm. Wrap the deflated cuff around the upper arm at least one inch above the fold of the elbow. The cuff will be secured with Velcro as you wrap it. The gauge should be facing you. Make sure the tubing is not kinked or under the cuff and identify the arrow that will point to the brachial artery on the lower edge of the cuff. The brachial artery is best felt at the fold of the elbow on the pinky side. Using your first two fingers, wiggle your fingers into the fold of the elbow on the pinky side to locate the brachial artery. The larger diaphragm on the head of the stethoscope will be placed over this artery. The arrow on the cuff should be pointed to where you felt the artery. Place the earpieces in your ear and the larger diaphragm over the brachial artery. The stethoscope should be held in place with your non-dominant hand. Hold the bulb assembly in your dominant hand, turn the valve to the right to close it, and inflate it to 180. Open the valve slightly to the left to let air out so that the needle descends at a nice controlled rate. Listen for the first and last Karotkov sounds. The needle may bounce with each heartbeat, but we record what we hear, not what we see. Keep this slow, controlled rate all the way to zero. In this demonstration, the first Karotkov sound was heard at 120 and the last at 74. When the needle reaches zero, remove the earpieces from your ears, open an alcohol swab, and wipe off each earpiece and the larger diaphragm and then throw the alcohol pad away. You will need to clean the evaluator's earpieces as well. Remove the cuff from the patient's arm and roll for storage, making sure the cuff is completely deflated. Open the privacy curtain, making sure your patient has his call light, and return your equipment to its storage area. Wash your hands. When you return, document the patient's blood pressure on the documentation sheet by writing the larger number followed by a diagonal line and then the smaller number on the space provided for blood pressure. Review the steps of your skill and tell the evaluator, my skill is done. Need scrubs for your new career? Visit foryouruniforms.com and enter the code CNA video for a special discount. Need additional resources? For your CNA has what you need. With practice tests, an online workbook, instructional videos, practice kits and supplies, and our very own skills book with step-by-step -step instructions, you will feel confident when you take the CNA exam. Visit foryourcna.com today. Continuing education for CNAs are called in-services. In-services are now offered online at foryourcna.com.